story you will see only on Local 10. More than four decades ago, an estimated 1 million tires were dumped into the ocean here in South Florida to create an artificial reef. But the project was an environmental disaster and the cleanup is still going on. So why is it taking so long and what progress is being made? Our Janine Stanwood takes us 70 feet under. You'd never know it from the bustling coastline of Fort Lauderdale. But 70 feet beneath the ocean's surface are the remains of a bad idea from decades ago. Tires, hundreds of thousands of them, intended to form an artificial reef, instead leaving behind a watery wasteland. We go offshore with Industrial Divers Corporation of Fort Lauderdale, charged with the dangerous and dirty job of plucking those tires from the ocean floor, showing us why they say this work is taking so long. But this is the first that I know of, the first you know full-time, multi-year uh, effort to clean up the reef. How tough is it? It's not easy. Okay, I'm ready. Go. The team goes down to give us a closer look at their two-step process. Crews rig the tire underwater, then slowly hoist them up and onto the barge. So what took years to do has taken decades to undo. On a good week, 5,000 tires could be recovered. When bundles of tires were first dumped about a mile offshore in the 1970s, it was supposed to be a smart way to dispose of used tires and create a reef to attract fish. But then when the, the clips rusted through and the straps came loose, all the tires just kind of fell apart. That's this is why the tires broke up. So this is one of the original straps from oh, yeah, 40 yeah. years ago. Yeah. yeah. Loose tires damaged coral, and it's estimated only 10% of the tires ever became marine habitat. Florida officials, realizing this was a colossal failure, enlisted the help of the military in 2007. It removed about hmm, 72,000 tires, uh, but then it got to the point where they just have so many operations around the world, they couldn't come back. Then industrial divers got the state contract in 2015. This is what the ocean floor looked like then. This is what it looks like now. They say they've removed more than a quarter of a million tires. Once we see tires pulled from the water, the full barge moves to Port Everglades. So this is what about 60 tires looks like in a bundle. As you can see, it's being slowly moved up. And then it's gonna be put into that trailer and hauled off to Orlando. Orlando, where the tires will be ground up at this facility and recycled. The project isn't cheap. Since 2016, state lawmakers have approved $6.3 million in funding for it. The work might also damage even more coral, but the county's marine biologist says that's inevitable. And the way I look at it is the tire field out there is a cancer in the reef. And so this cancer needs to be removed. So if you have a, a, a tumor, you're going to go to the doctor. The doctor's going to cut you open, do damage to healthy tissue to remove that bad tissue. And there's still work to do. We're told about two thirds of the tires remain. It's just something that we can do for sure. You know, it's not necessarily hard. It just takes a lot of persistence to stay with it. In Fort Lauderdale, Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. Well, some companies have pushed for a method that scoops up a lot more tires at one time to get it done faster, but there are concerns about how environmentally sound that work is, and as of now, those companies have not received permits.